was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual. Then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with my... July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety, Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. It's dark and I can't turn on the lights. It's dangerous. I'll need a flash for the camera. I can look for it amongst Daddy's things in the room below his bedroom. July 18th.
Here's the camera flash. Now I can photograph Martha even in the dark. Daddy's stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Time. It would be nice to have you always by my side, even if it's just a picture. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Orange filter. When there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. With this lens, I can shoot very close up. A photograph is both the present and the past, like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died. But I have to do something for her. Anything. Who knows? Her face can no longer tell me if what happened was my fault. I should have known that already. All I can do is head to the lake and get those rolls.
I shouldn't risk it really, but I love watching them sleep. It's the only time they are together and not fighting. I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. I love the night, but this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing?
German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. lamp. Luckily I still have my lighter with me. <gasps> the cameras are somewhere around here. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of two cameras left. How could it have ended up here? It looks familiar. One more camera to collect. got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. Julia. 
I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those rolls. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. That 
gets better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Don Attilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game. Following Most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? Protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. New ordinance for the safety 25 of ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. It is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vicenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street. The radio needs to be kept on at all times these days. It can save your I life knowing things on time, New especially before they happen. For the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows... including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders... Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions.
Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Romola, 15th of July 1944 Dear Mrs. Erene, I am writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologise for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I have left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. There are more and more weapons around and everyone is scared after what happened. The solution is still far away. I must be patient and wise. But luck is not on my side, unfortunately. Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbours bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot.
Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces. The superior commander. War rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pont Herber reconquered north of Saint Lô. Many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbours bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. Books, books and more books. In our villa there must be ten times more than even here. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. With this lens, everything gets bigger. Red filter for super high contrast photos. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, no, no. I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready. Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head in these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself.
here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done.
This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. It must have been Lapo, the dummy. There's little wonder why everyone thinks there's more than friendship between us. Going on here? What are the sun 
doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's Damn happening. It. to you. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. Ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. I give you back your appearance. 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 I give you back your appearance.
two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damned smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold.